What's up guys, Daddy Full here. So Christmas is literally around the corner. Uh, tomorrow would be Christmas Eve and um, it's been very busy and you know most of you know like during the holidays it gets really really busy in a lot of aspects of our lives which is really funny because holidays nowadays tend to be more stressful or you know your vacation tends to be more stressful than when you're not on vacation but yeah so far so good. So big things that are happening in my life right now. Um, we're planning on a trip next month. Uh, driving up somewhere in a Northern California, I would say. Uh, hopefully we can get some snow. <laughs> I have very few experiences with snow. So um, there might be a lot of funny moments. Um, taking my kids there, my wife. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good time. What am I doing? Um, I just came back from a car wash. Uh... I tend to get a car wash really, really early while no one is there because it just gives me, you know, you know, I can take my time and, you know, um, just kind of relax and it's my thing. Um, aside from that, I woke up early today because I wanted to take a time lapse video of the sunrise. Um, long story short, it was a missed opportunity. I wasn't able to get said footage because um, the local park that I go to uh, they were still closed when I got there. And, um, you know, most parks, if, if not all of them, they actually open their gates at sunrise. So you don't really have enough time to set up your camera or set up the shot and all that because the sun has risen already, um, which kind of sucks. The most challenging part really is not the waking up early part. It's more of uh, looking for a good location where you can you know, take a shot or take the footage and trying to plan it, you know, trying to get there early and, you know, making it in time. I did attempt a couple of weeks ago and um, wasn't able to upload it. My laptop wasn't working, so I had to bring it to the shop. They had to take a look at it and then they uh, gave me a, long story short, they gave me a refurbished one, but the refurbished one works um pretty darn well in in fact i think it was actually better than the original laptop that i bought um maybe i'll talk about it in another video here's some footage of what i did um a couple of weeks ago it's uh 6 15 a.m i was actually up earlier what the heck am i doing i am at a local train station trying to find good place to maybe catch a glimpse of the sunrise and try to see what this phone can do. Well, still waiting and that's okay. I actually enjoy going out um, early and you know with no real plan <laughs> and just sort of like explore the different areas it's nice it's um you get to spend time on your own um a lot of introverts uh, i consider myself as, a, as an introvert even though i am making youtube videos but yeah for me this is my time to recharge and I try to enjoy every minute of it it is kind of nice though the world is sort of peaceful when everyone is asleep the moon's still out You know what I hate about waiting sometimes is when you first start off, you're thinking this is a great idea. And the longer you wait, the longer or the more anxious you become and you're starting to doubt yourself. You're thinking, I look stupid, I look silly. What am I doing here? Am I gonna get the shot? Yeah, that's sort of happening right now. So it may have turned out to be a complete bust. Um, it's not as interesting anymore once the, you know, the light was, it's a lot lighter outside. So, sunset is supposed to be there. But as you can see, not as interesting as I thought it would be. See, this is what I should have done in the beginning. 
the way here. So I just got home and I had a great time going up a, a much higher elevation to take photos. There was this uh, great couple there named uh, Lucas and Courtney let me take, uh, who let me take a photo of them while they were eating their breakfast. So anyways, I'd ho I'm home and grabbed some water to take home. Um, while driving back home, I could hear the water, you know, go splish, splashing in the back. And I'm thinking, all right, you know, water's fine. But I did have the sinking feeling, um, no pun intended, that it toppled over and was slowly spilling in the back of the car. Um, I did not stop because I was very close to the apartment already. And of course, when I parked the car, I could still hear the splish splashing in the back. And I said, oh no. Um, so yeah, lo and behold, it has, I don't know if you can see it, but wait, let me flip the camera. So this is what happened. It's completely wet. So I took up the stuff in the back and I said, okay, it doesn't seem to have soaked most of it actually. And I think, all right, it's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty soaked here. And then I looked at the water bottle like, Wait a minute. And this is what I found out. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's flooded. <laughs> uh, now I have to figure out how to remove that water or where to put that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Have a Merry Christmas. Um, a wonderful New Year ahead. And I'll see you guys soon.